Hello everyone, welcome to our new video that is about a parent disease called cytokosis. Cytokosis is a type of zoonotic disease that is caused by a bacterium, Chlamydia cytosis. This disease is usually transferred from parrots to human. In human, the disease causes mild flu-like symptoms and lung infection. Other names for this disease are parrot disease, ornithosis, and chlamydosis. Cytokosis was first reported in 1929 when it was observed to be transmitted from a parrot to a human. Thus, the disease was named as parrot disease. The disease is usually caused by infected parrots like cocktails, macaws, and budgerigaws. However, there are other birds involved in transmission of the disease that include sparrows, pigeons, hens, ducks, gulls, and many other species of birds. In scientific community, the name Cetacosis is used when the carrier bird of the disease belongs to the family Cetacine. However, the term Ornithosis is used for the disease carried by the bird belong to any other family. Now let's talk about the infectious agent of the disease. The infectious agent for the cytokosis is an obligate intracellular bacterium named as Chlamydia cetaceae that belongs to the genus Chlamydia. Let's see how cytokosis is transmitted. Cytokosis is transmitted from birds to humans when a person inhales in the air contaminated with the urine feces, or any other body excretion of an infected bird. The disease can also be transmitted if the bird touches its beak with your mouth. Both domestic and wild birds can be involved in transmission of the disease. The disease transfer from human to human is quite rare, but not completely impossible. An infected person can transmit the cytokosis disease to others through coughing droplet if others breathe in the same ear. Now let's talk about the signs and symptoms of cytokosis in birds. Cytokosis infection in the birds can be acute or latent. Incubation period of this disease ranges from 3 days to several weeks. Incubation period is actually a time when a bird is first exposed to the infectious agent until the onset of signs and symptoms. Some of the signs that appear in an infected bird include poor appetite, weight loss, diarrhea, sleepliness, inflamed eyes, discharge from eyes or nose, breathing difficulty, shivering, discharge of urine or feces in various shades of green. The bird infected with cytokosis can also exhibit latent infection. In latent infection, the bird looks healthy and doesn't show any signs or symptoms, but it remains carrier of the infectious agent. The infectious agent, that is Chlamydia cetaceae bacteria, is shed intermittently or continuously from the bird through feces or nasal discharge. This shedded bacteria remain active for several months and able to transmit disease to other birds and humans. Now let's talk about the signs and symptoms of cytokosis in humans. In humans, the incubation period of 4 to 15 days is usually observed for infection. However, in most of the cases, the symptoms appear after 10 days. In humans, cytokosis infection is associated with the following symptoms. Fever, headache, chill, dry cough, joint pain, malaise, muscle itches, Weakness, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of appetite, intolerance to light. Now let's see what happens in the case of complications of cytokosis. 
The complications may cause liver inflammation, joint inflammation, inflammation of head muscle, endocarditis, brain inflammation. However, the fatal cases reported from cetacosis are less than 1%. Now let's see how cetacosis can be diagnosed. Cetacosis is such a rare disease that it is not usually suspected by the doctor. If a person owns a pet or works in a pet shop, poultry or any other veterinarian office, he should always be aware of the chances of zoonotic diseases. There are different tests that are recommended to diagnose cetacosis. Initial diagnosis can be carried through observing signs and symptoms. However, various antigens, antibodies associated tests are required to be done for the confirmation. Blood and sputum cultures are usually collected from a patient to culture the infectious agent that can confirm the causative agent of the disease. The presence of infectious agent can also be confirmed through polymerase chain reaction. For the exact diagnosis, a combination of various tests are required. Since cetacosis is a lung infection, therefore chest x-rays are also carried out to observe pneumonia-like infection that is usually associated with this disease. Now let's talk about the treatment of cetacosis. Once cetacosis is diagnosed, the disease can be treated by oral administration of antibiotics, doxycycline or tetracycline. The symptoms may disappear within a few days. However, the antibiotics is administrated from 10 to 14 days to prevent the relapse of infection. In older or weak people, the treatment can be slower. It is also important to take the pet to the veterinary doctor for the proper treatment and seek the proper advice to prevent yourself. Now let's see how you can prevent yourself and your other pets from cetacosis. Cetacosis can be easily avoided by adopting some preventive measures that include Always buy your pet from a reputed pet shop. After buying a new bird, keep it in a separate cage for months and observe it carefully. Keep the cage of your pet in a well-ventilated area. If you have bought more than one pet, keep their cages away from each other to observe them carefully. Don't touch the beak of your bird with your mouth. Always give healthy food to your bird. Clean the cage of your bird daily. If any symptoms appear in your bird, take it to the veterinary doctor. Don't touch the bird without gloves and proper mask. Don't breathe in the vicinity of your infected bird. Now let's see what are some occupational risks associated with cetacosis. There are a few occupations that are associated with the risk of cetacosis that include bird dealers, pet shop employees, poultry production workers, poultry processing workers, veterinary clinic employees, public health inspectors, diagnostic laboratory employees. It was all about cetacosis. Hope you really like this video. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for more videos.